Hi guys, good morning. So this will be our last lesson for CIPAR, Contemporary Philippine Arts from the Region. So we have here Unit 2, Lesson 3. So we have here Skills, Techniques, and uh, Production in Contemporary Art. And for this lesson, so these are the learning objectives for this lesson. First, you have to name and describe different types of techniques in art making next you have to give example of technique in art by creating own artwork so you'll be creating your own artwork with or using the, uh, the techniques that we will uh, discuss as we go in the lesson and then last you have to explain how contemporary artists do interactive and collaborative art now let's recall so last time or i'm not specific with the uh day kung kailan natin to na discuss no so we have here subject no and with regards to arts when we talk about subject it is the basic idea contained in the work of art and it also answers the question what is it now the term subject in art refers class to the main idea no again it is the main idea that uh, that is represented in the artwork so the subject in art is basically the essence of the piece or the obra no and in order not for us to determine the subject matter in a particular obra or piece of art you have to ask yourself what is it or what is actually depicted in this artwork now with regards to style naman so style is the manner in which an artist created the particular work of art and it also answered the question how it was portrayed so generally the style or the style of something or the artwork is the general way in which it is done or presented and of course again no it answered the question how it was portrayed no so kung paano siya ipresent paano siya nagawa no that's style now aside from that ayan so skills now with regards to skills naman so it is the intellectual property of a person so art is a skill so pag sinabi nga natin di ba pag sinabi nating skill ito yung special ability no ng isang artist ng isang tao no and definitely in order for you to acquire that specific skill no with regards to art for example no sa arts so definitely meron yang mga uh, kumbaga may mga trainings muna no may pagdaraanan ka muna ng iba't ibang uh, uh, kumbaga experiences no or trainings in order in order for you to acquire that skills and then with regards to techniques naman it is the manner and ability with which an artist writer dancer employs methodological skills of a particular art so definitely it is a way of uh, carrying out a particular task no so kumbaga yun nga merong method no may procedure na uh, susundin no in order for you to uh, execute no or perform specific artwork and last is yung production pag sinabi natin production it is the process of combining different materials styles and techniques to create something so from the name itself production so kailangan natin, natin na merong nga may ma-produce and in order for us to produce uh, an obra no or performance or artwork man yan no syempre kailangan nating gamitan ito ng iba't ibang mga bagay yun nga mga materials o oh, di naman kaya style no and techniques no in order for us to execute it uh, properly no yan etong mga and as well as effectively etong mga uh, work of art na ito no so, ayun, production refer to the making of something or to a final 
final product no so just like for example in uh, let's say for example no yung theatrical performance so in order for this uh, specific theatrical performance become uh, effective no and of course para maging successful etong theatrical performance na ito no so syempre kailangan natin ng iba't ibang uh, mga techniques no mga materials styles no na gagamitin natin for this performance for this specific theatrical performance no next okay so itong activity na to syempre hindi na natin gagawin so diretso na tayo sa discussion mismo so bibigay ko na lang siya sa inyo no ipo-post ko na lang sa Edmodo class natin now sabi dito artists explore different ideas and possibilities to create uh, their artwork no so we all know that as a artist no as an artist di ba syempre kailangan no na mag-explore no gamitin ng isang uh, artista no ng isang artist yung uh, iba't ibang ideas no iba't ibang ways no in order para makapag-create ng isang artwork now there are different types of techniques that artists can choose from so we have here the first one we have here collage pag sinabi nating collage it is basahin ko no it is made by adhering flat elements such as pwedeng newspaper or di naman kaya mga magazine cutouts, printed text, illustrations, photographs, cloth, string, etc. etc. Two flat surface to create a thick layer that is almost like a relief sculpture. So basically class, pag sinabi natin collage, uh, ang collage is a visual art form wherein uh, yung mga pieces of other images no halimbawa nga ito newspaper yan mga cutouts from magazine yan nga mga printed text na yan etc uh, etc et no are grouped together okay to create a new piece of art so just like for example this one no yan so nakapag create tayo ng isang malaking heart from different uh, material or photograph no ng mga Ayan, let's say for example ng mga animals, no? Ayan. Another example is this. Ay. So si Rizal, nakapag-create tayo, no, ng image ni Rizal, no, from or coming from these small uh, images, no, na nagpapakita ng kultura at ng pagka ayan, ng uh, pagka Pilipino natin no and since as we all know nga diba so uh, Rizal is one of our pambansang uh, one of our bayani diba so anything na nagpapakita no ng pagiging Filipino ay pinagsama-sama dito no sa larawan na ito para makapag-create no ng image ni Rizal all right now another example is this ito naman ay ginawa namin sa Uh, isa sa activity namin sa masters uh, master ko no so pinagawa kami ng mga contribution no ng uh, iba't ibang mga bansa to the ay na uh, science and technology no or contribution no uh, sa buong mundo and ang nap ang napunta sa aming uh, country ay yung Italy ngayon syempre ayan uh, nag-search kami no ng mga greatest contribution with regards to science and technology no etong nitong uh, Italy no ayan. and ginamit namin ito no ayan let's say for example uh, telescope no uh, telephone newspaper uh, yung motor na yan no so lahat yan no uh, mga contribution no greatest contribution ng Italy sa sa, sa mundo no and ay nga uh, ginamit ni nam, namin ito no itong mga images na to and so syempre nang galing yan sa internet so kinuha namin and then ang ginawa namin is uh, ipinatong namin sa mismong geographical area or map ng 
bansang Italy. Okay? And then, ayan, so ang ginawa namin ay pinatong namin for example doon sa mga uh, area, no, nitong uh, Italy. Ayan. And kung napapansin niyo, ang mapa kasi ng Italy ay para siyang boots, no? Para siyang boots, ayan, no? Ayan, para siyang boots. Okay, ito yung hills, no? And then, ayun nga, so ipinatong lang namin, no? ipinatong namin itong mga uh, greatest contribution, mga picture ng greatest contribution ng Italy dito. No? Which, of course, aside from the greatest contribution nga, specifically, no? netong uh, Italy, so ipinakita rin namin mismo yung Italy itself, no? or yung geographical uh, map ng Italy. No? That represent, of course, the nation. So that is an example of collage, no? Using different uh, materials, pictures or any cutouts from magazine, no? Yan, pagsasama-samahin in order to create a new piece of art. That's collage. Next is decacolmania. And decacolmania is the process of applying gouache no? to paper or glass then transferring a reversal of that image onto canvas or other flat material. So, kumbaga, uh, dito, etong guwas kasi na to, na tinatawag, I'm not uh, pretty sure <laughs> dun sa pronunciation, no? Ayan, guwas. So, it is a type of paint, no? That is made from pigment. Yan, kumbaga parang watercolor and then kumbaga ipapahid siya no ipapahid siya sa isang uh, plastic or paper for example and then ifo-fold niyo siya and then pag fold niyo siya no may mabubuo kayong image okay and then maari itong image na to halimbawa man kung plastic man ito no maari nating idikit sa isang canvas no or any flat uh, material na kung saan uh, doon na siya mismo didikit no doon na didikit yung mismong paint no na nagpapakita ng uh, ng image and so that is what we call uh, decacolmania another example is this no so ito naman ganun din no let's say for example naglagay ako dito ng paint na dilaw nitong medyo gold and then blue no na medyo kinalat no Yan. And then, so, finold natin, halimbawa, yung paper or uh, plastic, no? And then, medyo uh, ikinalat natin itong mga painting na to or mga paint na ito, no? And then, pag open natin, pag buka, no? Meron na siyang mabubuong image, no? Parang ito, para siyang butterfly, no? Yan. So, again, that is decacolmania. No, another or other example of decacolmania are... Ayan, ito, yan mga nakikita nyo. No? So, these are some examples din, no? Netong Degacolman. So, try nga natin. Video yata to. Okay, so wala. Ayaw nyo. Anyway, next. Ito naman, ang tawag dito ay uh, decoupage, no? Or decoupage. So, decoupage is done by adhering cutouts of paper and then uh, coating this with one or more coats or transparent coating of varnish. No? Now, class, uh, itong decoupage na to is the art of decorating an object by uh, pwedeng uh, pag, uh, dikit no? ng mga colored paper cutouts dito sa mga material na to halimbawa no halimbawa eto no meron tayo ditong mga uh, cutouts for example uh, yan mga flowers no and then etong flowers na to ay ididikit natin dito sa bottle no and then maari no yung dinikit mo dito no diyan sa material natin for example ito nga yung bottle na to maaring ikaw mismo ang magpintura no at maglagay ng iba't ibang kulay no so commonly uh, ayun nga uh, ginagamit syempre uh, dito sa material sa artwork na ito sa day uh, decoupage na to ay mga cutouts na ididikit no doon sa isang uh, material or medium 
then ayun nga maaring depende sa creativity nyo yan, pwede kayo mag-create ng iba't ibang concepts or ideas no, with this material now try natin i-play ito sana mag-play try ko dito huwag yan try natin mismo dito oops, ayaw <laughs> 